So I'm not sure what I'm more disappointed about, the fact that Louis C.K. is hosting the CrossFit Open or the fact that the Nano 9s look like complete, utter garbage. What's going on guys, it's David here, and today we're going to be taking a quick look at the first leaked images of the Reebok Nano 9. And first off, I wanna take some time and thank you guys for taking some time out of your day to watch this video. Do me a favor, and if you guys enjoy today's video, make sure to hit that like button, that subscribe button, as well as comment below what your guys' thoughts are on today's video. That way, I know I'm creating the kind of content that you guys want to see. Now, if you guys saw my previous video on my thoughts going into the 2019 CrossFit Open, you know that I mentioned that there hadn't really been any information as to whether or not we were going to be getting a Nano 9 this year, and that's because every year typically we would get confirmation we would know that the nano 9 is coming in january or february or it would actually be released in january or february based on previous models and typically during the time of the games we would get new colorways of those models well sadly i have to admit we are actually getting a Nano 9, and I was actually wrong. I hadn't seen these images because I would constantly go on Instagram because that's typically the best place to find images. And I would typically search Nano 9 and nothing was really coming up. But apparently about five weeks ago, some images surfaced of the Nano 9, which showed this teal colorway with this translucent um, outsole, midsole on uh, the shoe. And it was pretty much confirmed by uh, Joel from as many as as many reviews as possible, as well as this other individual, Small Fry. I'm not sure who she is. Um, that this would actually be the Nano 9, and we should expect to see the shoe sometime around May summer. Whoa. All right, guys. Not to interrupt this video, but the postman came and he just brought the Reebok training backpack. Um, that's the backpack that I'm gonna be switching over to from my champion bag that I've been using for a few months now. And uh, I'm looking to test a new bag, so look out for that video very shortly. So let's go back to the Nano 9 news. One thing for certain with shoes, as I've mentioned previously before, I think it's about every two years we should expect to get a complete redesign or significant redesign in shoe models. So the seven and eight look fairly similar, the six and the five look fairly similar, and so on and so forth. The same thing with the Metcons, the one and two look very similar. Um, the three and the four look very similar, uh, but there's significant changes between those generations of models. The same thing happens with cars, all sorts of different products. However, I will say there's still a lot of info that we don't have as far as specifications with this shoe, but there are some very big visual differences between the Nano 9 and the Nano 8. One of those differences uh, that is very evident from the image that we do have is that the outsole midsole is completely redesigned compared to the eight. The outsole midsole on the eight did have, um, there was part of the sole um, is split up into, I believe two different types of uh, dual density um, EVA. So the toe is a little bit different than the uh, mid foot as well as the heel of the shoe. Um, and then with uh, the Nano 9, it's the same thing where the toe has a different material than the mid foot and the heel. Now, I'm not sure um, how big of a difference this is gonna be gonna play with regards to how the shoe uh, feels and functions, but I think it's definitely safe to say that it's going to be definitely a game changer in regards to how the shoe functions. I say this particularly because of the fact that this shoe bears a very similar resemblance to the Legacy Lifter in the way that the heel is constructed. Now, one of my gripes with the Nano 8 is that there's no heel clip for doing things like handstand pushups. So I'm not sure if this like translucent material that is on the uh, midfoot and the heel is going to help 
uh, I guess, address that in terms of uh, providing a frictionless material that can make it easier to slide up and down when you're doing handstand push-ups um, with your feet. Another thing that sticks out with this shoe is the fact that it's still going to be using FlexWeave. I will, I've said this before and I'll say this again, I don't think FlexWeave is a very good material uh, in regards to constructions of shoes. If you look at the uh, Flyknit material on the DSX Metcon, that, mach that material is awesome. Um, it's definitely very flexible. It forms and, and molds to your foot. Uh, my gripe with the Flex Sleeve is that it's definitely nice that it's, it's really light, but in terms of actually providing protection, uh, particularly, let's say for example, in the rain, let's say you're out running in the rain uh, during your workout, which I know it's not the safest thing to do, but your foot is going to get drenched. And I think also just with the way that the flex weave material is constructed, it's just des designed in a way that it, it will allow the shoe to rip and to tear easily compared to uh, the fly knit material. I know Adidas also has prime knit, so I'm not sure why uh, Reebok has not had some sort of adapted version of prime knit for their shoes. I really wish they would update the flux weave material because it's just not good whatsoever. I like that it's light. It's great that it's light, but it doesn't really provide actual protection in regards to uh, the top of your foot and just the upper of the shoe in general. Like it's not a material that's gonna last very long compared to flight knit or prime knit. In the comments of that Instagram post, uh, some individuals did mention that uh, it, there's going to be a little bit of a change in regards to uh, cosmetic changes. Uh, there may or may not be the Reebok Delta logo on the shoe, which isn't really that big of a deal, I think, in the grand scheme of things, but it is pretty certain that this is what the shoe is going to be looking like. And if this is what the Nano 9 is gonna look like, I'm not really sure if I'm digging this. Um, also, a few videos back, we took a look at the Nike Metcon 5, and that shoe also kinda looks a little hideous. Um, I think if this is the route where shoes are going, I may end up trying to stock up on eights and, and fours, Metcon fours, and maybe just stick to the DSX uh, three or the DSX twos, because those models I think are very aesthetically um, eye-catching, they're aesthetically pleasing, and they just look really dope in my opinion. I do plan on picking up these shoes Primarily just to do a review for you guys, give you guys my thoughts on these shoes. I mean, at the end of the day, like I always say, it's always good for you guys to go out and test and decide what shoes are gonna work best for you, but this is just my plan on what I plan on doing. Also very briefly, it does also look like we're gonna get some updated colorways to the Legacy Lifters also pretty soon. I'm not sure when those are gonna be released because nobody really mentioned those in the post, uh, but that white, and blue gum bottom colorway is exquisite. So um, if I do end up picking another pair of lifters, I may end up getting those, I don't know. That's always the hard part with reviews is figuring out what's actually worth picking up and what's actually not worth picking up. And also just picking up things for myself as opposed to just doing reviews. Um, I, yeah, that, that, that's just always one of the conundrums with having a YouTube channel that centers around product reviews. That is going to be it for today's video. Just a quick look at the Nano 9 leaked images. Let me know guys down below, what are you guys thinking about this shoe? Is this a cop? Or is this a drop? Do you plan on getting the, the Metcon 5? Do you plan on not purchasing any of the newer generations of CrossFit shoes? I wanna know your guys' thoughts down below. Last but not least, I got a ton of videos for you guys that are going to be coming up. Uh, I just picked up the Chill Pill Advanced Formula that just came out, I think a week ago, this last week, a few days ago. Um, so I'm super stoked on checking those out because I've never had a pair of Strike movement shoes and I've been itching to get my hands on those shoes as well as I have a review for you guys coming up the Reebok training backpack that I mentioned earlier and then also I've got the follow-up to the Romaleo 3s. I've got a ton of content coming up for you guys so if you guys enjoyed today's content please make sure to hit that like button as well as that subscribe button because that lets me know I'm creating the kind of content that you guys want to see. With that guys, as I close out every single video, may your barbells be heavy and your coffee be black. And I hope you guys dominated the 19.1 workout 
I did it myself. I ended up getting about uh, five rounds, almost finishing six, nine calories short of six rounds. Again, guys, may your barbells be heavy and your coffee be black. This is David, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. It's always weird starting a new video because of the fact that it's weird talking to a camera, but I'm actually talking to people.